Hiya Toon Fanatics and welcome to Toon Corner and today I'll be talking about an animation studio called Bray Studios. Bray Studios was founded by John Randolph Bray in 1913. The best way to describe the animation at the studio is that it is stiff and the cartoons look like moving comic strips. Keep in mind that animation was still experimental at the time. So people were still trying to figure out how to make drawings move so fluently. However, J.R. Bray and an animator named Earl Hurd created a animation process called cell animation. Before cell animation, people actually had to draw the background frame by frame. But with cell animation, you only have to draw the background once and you just focus on animating the character by placing your character on clear cellulite. <laughs> um, Bray Studios uh, had some two stars that will have a short-lived career. Um, they had characters like Bobby Bumps, Colonel He's a Liar, and Dinky Doodle, for example. And they also have created some cartoons featuring Crazy Cats. Not only the studio has been well known for the pioneering, it has also been well known as the studio that would be a starting point for some of the animators that will later on make history. Basically, animators like Paul Terry, Walter Lance, and Max and Dave Fleischer, for example. At the studio, uh, Paul Terry created a character called Farmer Alfalfa, and later on, Farmer Alfalfa would be seen in the Terry Toons cartoons. So basically, Paul would work at Bray Studios for a tiny bit, and then would later on would be the co-founder for the Van Buren studio and work there for a tiny bit, and then he would actually form his own studio and create the Terry Toons cartoons. Walter Lance created a series that combines live action with animation called Dinky Doodle. In the series, uh, Walter would interact with Dinky and together they would go on different adventures. And Max and Dave Fleischer created Coco the Clown and would invent a animation technique called the rotoscope which gives characters realistic movement by tracing live-action footage. Unfortunately, by the end of the 1920s, um, Bray Studios was shut down. Even though the studio is, is forgotten nowadays, the legacy still lives on as uh, a lot of the animators that have worked with uh, J.R. Bray will eventually make uh, cartoons and Toon Stars uh, during the golden age of animation and a lot of those cartoons and Toon Stars are still popular to this very day. And the question of the day is, who is your favorite animation pioneer? Just let me know in the comment section down below. Feel free to leave any requests and I'll see you next time in Toon Corner.